We now go over to Thailand. Prime Minister General Prayut chan -cha has declared a nationwide state of emergency there. And initial restrictions have been issued and is now in place. There are 357 checkpoints monitoring travelers nationwide. As Christelle Pereira, our EBC correspondent there in Thailand, reports. Christelle? Prime Minister General Poyu Chanocha has declared a nationwide state of emergency and initial restrictions have been issued in the fight against the COVID-19. In his explanation about the state of emergency and restrictions, Deputy Prime Minister Wisenu Kriangam said that the state of emergency to be in effect from 26 March to April 30 would enable the government to impose more legal and stringent measures to effectively control the virus situation. Under the state of emergency, people are prohibited from entering areas and places at risk of COVID-19 infection. Provincial governors and the Bangkok governor are empowered to close locations where many people gather for various activities. Access points to the country by aircraft, boats, cars, or other vehicles will be closed. Members of diplomatic corporations and international organizations operating in Thailand and their families who need to return to Thailand from overseas will be allowed, but they need to have fit to fly health certificates. Thai nationals overseas wanting to return to Thailand will also have to follow the same requirements. Relevant officials will ensure that there will be no shortages of necessary items and, and consumer goods, and hoarding of consumer products is forbidden. Gatherings of many people are, are also banned. Dissemination of fake news and information on COVID-19 through various media channels is forbidden, as it may cause panic among the public. Three particular groups of people should stay at home to protect themselves from the possible virus infection outside. These vul vulnerable groups include people who are older than 70 years, children aged below 5 years, and people with some diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, stroke, and cardiopathy, respiratory problems, and allergies. The Ministry of Public Health on March 26 reported 111 new COVID-19 cases in Thailand raising the number of confirmed cases to 1,045. Now, Alma, there are also 357 checkpoints monitoring travelers nationwide. The, the Royal Thai Armed Forces Command has set up seven checkpoints in Bangkok and 350 more in other provinces to check interprovincial travelers and help contain the coronavirus disease 2018. The announcement said the checkpoints were in response to the Prime Minister tasking the command with supervising security measures relating to the COVID-19 pandemic. The checkpoints are being, are being manned by soldiers, police, and civil servants who check travelers for symptoms of COVID-19 and behavior leading to risk of COVID-19 transmission, the announcement said. Measures will be implemented only when it is necessary to minimize the impact on the everyday life, it said. In Bangkok, the checkpoints were on Cheng Watana Road near Klong Krapa Canal, Suwin Tawong Road, Kanchanak Isek 39 Front Page Road, Sukhumvit Road at the BTS Bearing Station, Lachapurak Road in Taling Chuan District, Suksawa Road under Bumibol Bridge, and Ramatu Soy 92 Road. Now also bus ticket sales suspended until April 30. Ticket sales for all public transport buses will be suspended from March 26 or today to April 30 in compliance with the government's declaration of a state emergency, which takes effect on today. The President of Transportation Girasak Yawbat Sakho said, uh, Ticket sales for all public transport buses will be suspended from today to April 30. And he added that the company will also enforce social distancing by leaving empty alternate seats on the buses and keep a distance of at least one meter between persons at all bus terminals. After the state of emergency was announced on Tuesday, March 24, people rushed to buy bus tickets. All tickets have been sold out beyond April 30. We cannot provide additional buses and all available buses have been used. Complying with the social distancing policy halves the number of passengers per bus, added Jirasak. Those who haven't reserved tickets should refrain from coming down to bus, bus terminals, hoping to get one since all ticket groups will be closed until April 30, he said. Those who had bought tickets earlier can still travel as per schedule. You can also postpone or cancel your, your trip and apply for refund as per the conditions of passport companies. Jirasak added that some operators of private buses and vans have submitted a post to suspend their service during the state of emergency. If you have already bought tickets from these operators, please contact them directly to ask for refund or postponement of your trip. Thank you, Alma. Christelle?
Yes, before I let you go, I just want to ask, because I saw some pictures earlier, um, some drive-through testing. They have this also in South Korea. Do you always, do you also have this over there? Yes, drive-through testing of the coronavirus? Yes, we do. Uh, a new drive-through testing center for the COVID-19 virus opened at Bibawadi Hospital in Bangkok's Chattachak District. Uh, now, Bibawadi Medical Center, just like in South Korea, has arranged for people to be tested without leaving their vehicles. Uh, a safe distancing approach already in use in several other countries. Mm -hmm. The drive through COVID-19 test is available at Building 4 of Bibawadi Hospital, where customers can arrive in their personal vehicles and get tested through the windows. Mm -hmm. Staff will collect samples from the nasal cavity and show, which will be sent to the lab immediately. They will notify the subject of the results via SMS within 24 hours, so there's no need to go back to the hospital again to find out. Um, the test costs around 6,500 baht, and the service is available daily from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The <laughs> hospital's lab can handle 150 to 200 tests per day. Actually, Alma, about 50 people have driven in for a test in the first 24 hours. All right, thank you very much, Christelle, and do take care. Keep safe over there, and we'll, make, we'll wait for more updates over there in um, Thailand. Thank you for your time. Thank you for updates of COVID-19 here in Bangkok, Thailand. I am Christopher Herrera. We live in interesting times.